Good day, my incredible students. It's information technology time, and I am your teacher, Miss Brown. Today, I have another interesting topic to teach you, and I am pretty sure you are more than ready to learn. But before we do anything, please go over to Reach Educational Services channel on YouTube and like, share, subscribe, and comment. Today's topic is network topology, and I promise you that by the end of class, you will be singing everything network topology. First, I'm giving you a few seconds to think about what network topology is. So now that your few seconds are up, let's go find out if what you came up with is anything like my definition. Network topology is the arrangement and layout of devices on a network. These devices are often referred to as nodes. So how you place devices on a network, whether it be in an office or in a lab, is called network topology. So was your definition anything like mine? Well, if it was, good job. And if it was not, better luck next time. We are moving right along to the types of network topologies. There are four main types of network topology. One, bus topology, also called line topology. Two, ring topology. Three, star topology. And four, mesh topology. Let's start with bus or line topology. In this topology, devices on a network are connected in a line to a single cable or backbone. Now, because it is connected in a line, it is also called or referred to as line topology. Here are two examples of bus or line topology. Now, let's look at advantages of bus topology. One, it is cost effective. Two, cables required is least comparing to other network topologies. Three, used in small networks. Four, it is easy to understand. And five, it's easy to expand. Disadvantages of line or bus topology. One, if the cable fails, the whole network fails. Two, the performance of the network decreases when network traffic is heavy or nodes are more. Three, cables have a limited length. And four, it is slower than ring topology. Let's go over to star topology. This is designed with each node connected directly to a central device. This central device is called a network switch. Now, this topology shapes like a star, hence the name star topology. Next, we are moving into the advantages of star topology. Star topology is very reliable. If one cable or device fails, then all the others will still work. It is less expensive and easier to put in. Easy fault detection because the links are often easily identified. And no disruptions to the network when connecting or removing devices. Now let's take a peek into the disadvantages of star topology. One, the entire performance of the network depends on a single device hub. Two, if the hub device goes down, the entire network will be dead. And three, star topology requires more wire comparing to ring and bus topologies. How are we doing so far? Yes, I know you have learned a lot. 
but we still have two more to explore. So we will be looking into mesh topology. So in this type of topology, all the computers are interconnected to each other in a network. Each computer not only sends its own signals, but also relay data from one computer to another. Here are some good things about mesh topology. One, it has multiple links. So if one route is blocked, then others can be accessed for data communication. Two, it provides high privacy and security. And three, fault identification is easy because of point-to-point -point connections. Now to the disadvantages of mesh topology. One, mesh topology requires high number of cables and input-output ports for communication. Two, Installation is very difficult in mesh topology. And three, mesh topology is costly comparing to the other network topologies. Now we're down to the last one, ring topology. In ring topology, each device or node is connected with its neighboring node, forming the shape of a ring. Hence the name ring topology. In ring topology, Data circulates from one computer to another. Let's look at the advantages of ring topology. One, ring network can handle high volume of nodes on a network. Two, ring topology provides good communication over a long distance. Three, troubleshooting in ring network is much easier because cable faults can be easily located, and four, ring network is less costly comparing to the other topologies. Now let's hop on over to the disadvantages of ring topology. One, a single break in cable can cause disturbance in the entire network. Two, addition and removal of any node in this network is difficult and can cause issues in network activities. And three, Ring network is much slower than Ethernet network under normal load conditions. Pretty interesting, right? See, I told you that by the end of class, you will be able to sing, dance, do everything network topology. Well, it's that time again. We're at the end of class. I tell you, I had a wonderful time today. And I'm pretty sure you did too. Please remember to go over to our channel at Reach Educational Services and like and subscribe. Also, share and comment. See you next class, guys. Bye. Bye.